Well hello everyone, it's been a while since my last video but I am back today and talking about the Jinnao X750. Now I've had this pen for a while and I can give you uh, my review about it today. We'll talk about the things that are good, things that are maybe not so good about it and I'll, I'll do a writing sample and you can decide if this is a pen that you want in your collection. Um, when I initially bought this pen, one of the problems I was having with it was that it um, it ran dry after some writing. I would write like a paragraph, half a page with it, and it would run dry and it was just frustrating. So I ended up not using it for a while. It was just lying in the drawer and uh, nothing much. But this was a couple of years ago. This was before I learned a little bit more about using good paper, etc. So. I was really just writing on any any old crappy paper and I think that might have something to do with it or that was my theory and I decided to take it out again and give it another try which I did this time with much better paper and with much better results so um, and you know one of the things with these pens is that they, they are so cheap this is such a low risk purchase you know if you if you if you look at what this pen looks like though I mean this is really nice beautiful really beautiful and for what what you pay for it I, I, I think oh, that time when I bought it a couple of years ago it was much cheaper but I think now in South Africa they go for about 200 Rand which would be what just over or under $10 US depending on the exchange rate but this is a, essentially a $10 pen and I think you get a lot for your money. So let's head over to the table, we'll have a closer look at it and we'll do a writing sample. See you over there. Right, so this is a closer look at the Zhenhao X750. Um, you do get these in other colors as well, but um, I love the black. Uh, some people may think it's a little boring, but I, I just find it's just, it's just such a classic look, the black with the chrome trim. Um, I just love to have that. It's uh, really beautiful. And this one, when you have a closer look, um, it's a it's a gloss black finish on the pen. It's a metal pen. You can feel it. And uh, yeah, it's uh, at the top. Um, nothing really happening there. Just just sort of a black dome, and we have this uh, chrome band, which is where the where the clip is fastened the clip is very springy it's not overly tight it's a very nice clip I, I like that it's rounded at the bottom there so it's not going to catch on anything it looks really classy i think and um, it's just very functional center band on the on the well on the cap um i don't know if, you, if we can have a closer look there but it says jen uh, hao and then at the back X750. The pen caps very nicely. It's got a very nice click. Uh, it almost feels, um, I don't want to say like it's got like a magnet inside, but the way that it comes together, I just really love that. And it's not, uh, you can actually turn the barrel a little bit, which I don't know if that should happen, but it's a, uh, it's not like I can say not overly tight or anything it uncaps very easily it's it's not so tight so it's very easy if you're taking notes very easy to uncap with one hand does the pen post unfortunately this pen does not post well I've tried a few times it's quite loose there uh, when you try to post it and no I would not post this pen I don't think it posts at all. The section is a matte black finish um, which is quite comfortable in the hand I must say. Uh, I'm a little worried that this, I don't know what kind of a finish this is, but I'm a little worried that this might wear off easily. But I don't know, we'll, we'll see, only time will tell I guess. The nib, well don't know if there's much I can say about the nib but this is a medium uh, and on the nib it says uh, Janelle and if we look closer it says 
18kgp not sure exactly what that means but this is most definitely a standard steel nib at the bottom of the pen also just a dome with a chrome ring over there and that is the uh, the outside of the Shanae X750 build quality it really feels good in the hand it's got a nice weight to it but it is not heavy it it feels the way that you think this pen should feel the the section in terms of grip it is very comfortable it's not it's not too it's not too thin it's not too thick it's it's just really comfortable it's got a uh, chrome like a trim ring um, at the end of the section it doesn't get in the way at all it doesn't you know you don't feel like it shouldn't be there i do have some pens where that does get in the way and actually feels like it's it's uncomfortable to hold but not at all we have a slight step going from the section to the barrel very slight very smooth um, when i hold the pen i actually hold it on onto the step and i don't feel that at all so very comfortable when we unscrew the barrel it's metal on metal thread and in this pen i have a standard janelle converter which works pretty well no problems there they hold a good amount of ink and um, they're just really easy to use and very functional so that is the Geno X750. Like I say, uh, in terms of uh, build quality, I think it's well built. I, I have no problems with this pen, um, except the, uh, when I initially bought it, like I mentioned, it, it used to run dry and it felt like um, it didn't keep up um, somehow with the ink. Now that may have had something to do with the paper I was using, which was you know, just really standard, standard crappy paper, which meant that the pen uh, was bleeding uh, and feathering a lot so it would be using a lot more ink the other thing I have found sometimes with these converters I don't know about this one but some of them um, the ink doesn't the ink uh, it sort of stays at the at the top there and then you see what happens there okay now it's, I can see that it's starting to flow but I've had that sometimes when a pen wouldn't write well and then I check whether it's empty and then there's a lot of ink but it's just not at the at the bottom where it can um, flow into the feed in the section so I don't know about that maybe that's a converter issue uh, if you have any ideas about that please let me know I would love to I'd love to know about that it's maybe something we can prevent in the future so for a writing sample I'll be using basic rhodia dot pad. Alright, let's do a writing sample. So this is the Xinhao X750. And I'm not sure how much of that you can see, but that is a really juicy uh, ink flow there, absolutely love that. It is a medium. And the ink that I'm using should probably not come as a surprise to some people who know me. That is simple Schaefer Black. The, the Schaefer inks, I just find that they are just really brilliant to use. They are no nonsense, especially in pens that I find that are a little bit temperamental when it comes to the ink. I, I really find the Schaefer inks are just, um, you know, they, they just don't give you any hassle and uh, they clean out so well, um, whereas some of my other inks, a little, little, little bit more effort to clean, but the Schaefer inks really, really clean so easily. See there, that's that's nice and wet.
Mm. Bit of skipping there, but uh, I don't think that's really an issue. Yeah, once or twice, maybe a slight skipping. Uh, I'm not worried about that because um, I can tell you that as I've been uh, using it, I, I haven't had any problem with skipping um, whatsoever like I did in the past. It, it writes really well. You know, it could also be that the pen just needed a, a decent clean. Um, you know, a couple of years ago when I bought pens, I didn't think about flushing them out and cleaning them before using them and things like that. So it could be that a proper clean just did the job um, and that's maybe all that was needed. The, the nib on this pen is really smooth. It's a medium. Um, you know, something that's interesting about this pen, and I, I do notice that about uh, many of my pens, uh, with this pen, it, it's sort of, now, uh, on here, I, I wouldn't have a look at this because this is kind of awkward to write because I've got the camera and everything, but this pen, uh, it feels like it sort of helps my handwriting. I can, I can write really neat with this pen. I, I really like the way it helps my handwriting. Whereas some other pens that maybe don't hold so well, that with, with the grip on the section is not that comfortable, uh, really makes your handwriting look uh, not that great. So I don't know if you've had that experience, if there are some pens that you feel just, um, you, you just enjoy writing with them and you just have a nice handwriting and with others, uh, it just doesn't work so well. Um, for example, um, when I use the Parker Jotter, which is a pen, by the way, that I really, really like. Um, but my handwriting with those pens are just really crap. I just, <laughs> it doesn't look good. And I think it's because the, the section is a little bit too narrow and it's, it's, not a, it's not the ideal grip for me. So I do think that makes a difference. Now, in the end, is this pen worth it? Well, for the price point, I have to say, I think you get um, more than what you are paying for. You, you cannot at the price point um, buy, I think, really good quality pens. You, you could buy a plastic pen, maybe that will write fine. You could buy uh, maybe platinum preppy or two preppies for that price, I'm not sure. But I think for, for, for 10 USD, you get a metal pen that looks as good as this one, that writes as well as it does. Um, I think that's a real bargain. Um, and this pen does not feel like a $10 pen. You could easily pay more for it. And um, if you didn't know your pens and your prices, you wouldn't blink an eye because it looks good, it feels good. Um, I think this pen is a, is a must have for everyone because it's so cheap and because it's such a nice experience. And it provides a basis from which you can compare other pens. Um, because you can say, you know, if I can get this pen at this price point, are other pens uh, expensive compared to this or cheap compared to this? So, many reasons why I think this is a good pen to have. If you like my video, please like and subscribe to my channel. I, I would appreciate that. And uh, I will see you soon. Have a great week.